But they're going to run the ball. Here comes that tempo. Looking to throw for it in third and short. Catch made by Casey Kelly, the only healthy tight end on the roster. Get back and watch and enjoy. First down, wants a downfield shot. Now the seam, and the catch is made by Braylon Sanders with that route. 24 yard gain. Looking to throw again. High pass. Caught. Drummond. Again, not 100%, but fast enough to scare you. Receiver, tight end, scout team linebacker. And on the third down, Wayne Kiffin, who calls the plays, tries to run up the middle 40 yards in his brief career. This is from 33 for the early lead. So, great start throwing the ball. G4, sir. <laughs> And off Ely breaks a tackle. It's a block downfield. First down, a lot more. Try to rip the ball out. And there's another accurate start. Man, he is on fire tonight. Up against this AM defensive front. And they do move the sticks. You're talking about some very inexperienced guards. Marvin Leal, one of the studs up front for AM, limped off after that play. Inside the Paris is off. And he takes a shot, holds the football, and the Rebels are near the 20. Arkansas runs it. And across the middle, complete. And muscling down for a first down is Dontario Drummond. You know, it was a big moment early here. Corral looking to his left. Fire! Touchdown! Drummond on the slant was wide open. What a drive. Here he comes. Elzada flush, flings it across the middle into traffic again. And once again, it's Leonard with the play. Now, dealing with some injuries. Corral over the middle, has a man running free. And it's Pearson out across the 40. Nobody covers the seam. Eyes out of place on that play for the defense. There's another first down throw, and it's Pearson again. And he's forced out in AM territory at the 41. Corral pulls it, and he'll be sacked. Ball is loose, and the Aggies recover it. That was not free by Leal, and Tyree Johnson is the sack master, comes up with the recovery. He was in the tent. He could play inside. He could play outside. Watch him here. Good coverage, by the way. Allows him to get home. Without that coverage, he doesn't make that play. Good job knocking that ball loose. And, Chris, you're right. Johnson, eyes on the football, jumps on top of it. But the cut Smith again. Smith going in motion. Spiller cuts back and it'll be dropped behind the line. Knifing in there was Jake Springer. Holly? That was a wacky game. Ely takes his way, breaks free into the secondary. Great speed. They'll try to chase him down and they do, but a monster gain inside the Aggies 40. Parrish spells him on second and four. He makes a cut. He's got room. They've got a first down in the red zone. Corral across the middle, a dart, accurate. And that's Casey Kelly with his third catch tonight, first and goal. You know, they... Second and goal. Corral keeps it. They were ready for that run. And he lost the ball again. A scramble for it way back at the 20. The Rebels will maintain possession, but... Such a fighter. He's trying to fight for extra yards. Look at that ball in the left hand. 26, Richardson knocks it out. It looked like... And the Arbor game knocked the ball. Up. Actually, did knock it. Bo Nix just dropped the ball. And Michael Clemens scooped that up and ran in. So... And second and four. Calzada keeps it. Nowhere to run. And just gets to the ground. Sam Williams was ready for that little wrinkle. Hey, someday. A... Someday do it. Yeah. Corral back to work. Fires over the middle. And coming back to make a beautiful hand sketch was Braylon Sanders. On the ground, sets everything up for their play action RPO game. Ely again makes a cut. He's already himself got close to 120. Back in. Then you throw in 27. And catch made across the middle there by Drummond. Takes a shot. And off. Sue Cutter, secondary, lowers the shoulder, delivers a blow. They're getting chunks of yardage here at the 14. And quick penetration, just body slamming. The man to the ground there is Edrin Cooper. 
Corral pulls it, flips it in the flat, and stops short is Casey Kelly. Not tricked. And Chappelle, the freshman quarter, makes a big play. Aggies hanging around in this game. Chappelle makes the huge play. From the one-yard line, couldn't get in. Second possession tie. They got out of the one and haven't gotten a touchdown. Now trying to avoid his safety is Spiller, and he couldn't get out. Couldn't get out of the end zone, and Ole Miss's defense continues to play inspired, superb football. Just get it off. He checks to a run. Connor's trying to get free, and that check didn't work. Aggies trapped him behind the line. Alzada across the middle, and that's Weidermeyer, the talented tight end, finally involved tonight. His first catch, and it moved the six to the 36. And a... Alzada on play action, throws downfield, and the catch is made. Now he's finding some rhythm here, and on the tackle by Dimas, a flag is down. Back look. Smith joining Springer in the backfield to get the ball out quickly, and just a decoy as they find Caleb Chapman. That, that's their... Spiller bangs forward. It is a first down. Aggies in the red zone tonight. That was nice. It's third and four now. It makes a big difference. Calzada back pedaling. Launches to the end zone. Overthrown. Career field goal to get NM on the board. And he knocks it inside that left upright from 30 yards. So Calzada, another one of those short distance throws on first down. They got a little rhythm going here. Going to throw again and first down over the middle. That's wider. Meyer makes the catch, takes a big hit, holds on. Sure. A chain breaks a tackle. He can fly. A chain ducks out of bounds at the 41. Fake it to A chain, flip it in the flat. Wider. Meyer ducks inside. Another first down. Good attempt by these these uh, receivers to help out the big tight end. A-chain has a hole and accelerates, weaves his way, and finally, the touchdown drive for the Aggie offense is over. They reach the end zone. Preston threw a block downfield. Here comes a and Here they come. Against his defense, running the ball. Oh, fumbles the ball. Eli still loose. Corral has to dive on it back outside the 40. Leal made another play. And Ely slammed down. That time it was Edron Cooper coming in. And that Aggie defense. And they flip it in the flat. Plumley has a nice block on the edge. And he's got a first down. Corral looking to run all the way. And takes a hard shot. Well, that was Chappelle who's down on the field. There's a couple of flags there. And this one will undoubtedly be looked at for targeting as well. Yeah, trying to make contact with him. He's giving himself up right there. And even, it wasn't necessarily, but I'd love to hear what you say about this because it wasn't necessarily a, a big hit. It's just that he could. Personal foul. Late hit. Unnecessary roughness with targeting on the defense number seven. Third and three. And Corral pitches incomplete. That's another drop. Had a couple crucial drops after halftime. That was Sanders that time. And fourth and short tonight. Trying to go three for three on the night. It's a fake. And picking up and running and fighting and being stopped short of the first down. Let's see where they spot it. O'Neal grabbed him. It's close. But I think the Aggies think they got him. Not fooled. Mac Brown is the holder as well as the punter here for this one all the way across. Pretty important measurement. The Yankees are going to get the ball back if he's short. And he is. Alzada in the throw over the middle on first down and has an open receiver. And that's Nia Smith who slides down and up. Their first down throw. Weidermeyer breaks free, and the tight end found a little cushion in there. 
And it's a play to the Ole Miss 35. I mean, it... He goes to the right of the formation. It's eight chain running that direction. A quick burst of speed. A first down and a lot more. Still running hard. Still down to the 10 yard line. First and goal. Nice job by the right side of that offense. Three, two, one. Did he get it off? Calzada backpedaling. Fires to the end zone and no chance to make a play. Here they try to cut the lead to two. Small, one for one. And knocks this one just inside the right upright. So AM. Oh. Third and six. Three receivers bunch left. And now coming in motion and back is Drummond. And they get the ball to Drummond, but he's gonna be wrapped up and dropped for a loss. Antonio Johnson. Sonny Tate sniffed that one out and exploded into the backfield. Yeah, the, the Second and ten against the three-man rush. Calzada moving those feet around and delivers a throw, and it's Carroll been picked off. Off the hands of the receiver and picked off by Sistrunk, who makes back-to-back -back monstrous plays for the Rebels' defense. Of a ball that goes into the air after Demas is unable to hold on to it. It's high off of his hands, and then great awareness by Sistrunk to hold on to that ball and fight for it as they both go down to the ground. You can see he's looking to the middle of the field, middle of the field at the last second. Try the defense, getting, they're pinning their ears and they're getting upfield. Boom! Touchdown! Take that! Snoop Connor just bolts straight up the middle. That saw the red zone woes. And the Rebels cash in the pick and stretch the lead with six and a half to play. Time they run this play and have two plays to get the 10 yards you think here comes pressure Calzada steps up and delivers a throw it's picked off picked off by Finley AJ Finley down the sidelines touchdown Ole Miss pick six should put this away desperation time Rebels rushing three Calzada against eight and covers delivers a nice dart strong arm throw across the middle to Anaya Smith yeah he tight spiral too Again, look at him dropping eight in coverage, three deep, five under. And runs parallel to the line of scrimmage, delivers down to the 20 yard line to Smith again and are going in motion. A chain makes a cut and dives down first and goal inside the five. The clock is running. They, they wasted 10 seconds there. A chain has space, tip on touchdown. And now we'll see one of those two point plays. A chain in motion. Calzada straight back across the middle, batted in the air, and no good. They'll try for some deception. It's, it's Caden Davis on the small. They get the kangaroo hop. The ball right near the sideline. A flag comes down. That got the perfect hop, and it got past that hands team. Ball. The kick out of bounds in the kicking team. Five yard penalty from the spot where it went out of bounds. First down, Ole Miss. That took the. There's a lot of uh, traffic and a lot of fancy ball handling in the backfield, but Aggies need to here keep the football. Calzada backpedaling, and he'll go down. Tavius Robinson, a backup tackle, punctuates this defensive performance with a sack. Making this former school. Many. It's first time ever, by the way, a coach that is coaching that day was our celebrity guest picker. Because who else would do it but this guy? I know. You got to love it. <laughs> That's it. It's a hard fought victory for Ole Miss. Get out to a 15 0 lead. It was cut to two. Two late interceptions are important. And the Rebels go to 8 2. Aggies drop to 7 3 and drop out of contention.